Hey guys, the developer Franco has released a dedicated per app modes application and what this is going to allow you to do is create custom profiles for your apps so you can change things like CPU frequency, GPU frequency, input boost and other turnables like that per app. So if you know a specific application doesn't need to use a lot of your CPU or GPU, you can actually down clock it when you're using that application, then when you exit that app it's going to go back to your system defaults. With this, you can actually save yourself quite a bit of battery life, and I'll show you an example of that a little bit later on in the video. There are some requirements. You do need a rooted device. You also need to be on a device running Android 4.0.3 or later. You don't specifically need Franco kernel to use this. You can actually use the stock kernel or any other custom kernel. So yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. The first time you open the application, you'll be greeted with a welcome screen and a small tutorial. You can also choose to skip that if you don't want to, otherwise swipe from right to left and it'll tell you basically how to use the application and where it's probably best to use it. So it's very user friendly, it's a very easy and intuitive UI. You can just keep going through these and then you're ready, let's get started. So boom, we're into the application, let's go ahead and check it out. So we've got four different options in this pullout drawer here. Applications, create, custom paths and manage. If we tap into applications, it gives you a list of all your user applications you have installed. You can also choose to show system apps as well. If we scroll down, you'll notice a really nice animation as the apps load in. And just this whole application is really well made and really smooth as you'd expect from a recognized developer like Franco. Pulling this drawback out, we'll go into create. And this is where you'd go to actually create the custom profiles for your different applications. You can see all the uh, kernel turnables right here. If your device has a turnable that isn't in this list, it's not natively supported by this application, you can actually choose to add it using the custom pass option. For example, I've just flashed a custom kernel and if we go to create, you'll notice there's a lot less turnables than I had before. So what we're gonna do is go to custom paths, then we're gonna hit add a new path at the top click the actual path section and this is going to open up the internal explorer now you need to find the path where the turnables actually are so that's system devices this one's kind of a big list but it's right at the bottom we need to find system again here we go system cpu cpu frequency elemental x and here they are here are the different turnables you can now add so for example if you want to change sampling rate you can click sampling rate you can call it anything you want but it's probably best to call it the sampling rate there we go. Uh, hit fire it up and that's it. It'll now be available for you in the create list and you can see it right there. And lastly, we have manage. This is where you can go to either edit or delete your profiles and you can choose to back up or load your modes as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a profile here for Flappy Birds because I know that game doesn't need a lot of CPU or GPU to run smoothly. So I'm gonna change the CPU all the way from 2.2 gigahertz or 2.3 gigahertz to 652 megahertz. We'll also change the input boost to zero, the maximum GPU frequency to 200, and the hot plug load threshold to 99 so it doesn't turn on a lot of the cores. Hit, hit save there, call it Flappy, call it whatever you want really, and go into applications. Now we need to find Flappy Birds to actually apply it to. So there we go, Flappy Bird, choose Flappy, that's it. And we're just going to go ahead and open up the system monitors to show you what the cores are doing normally. Well, you can see when I touch the screen it jumps up to 1.6 gigahertz. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up Flappy Birds. Give it a second, you should see a toast that says, there you go, per app mode applied. And now you'll notice it's not gonna go above 653 megahertz. Let's go ahead and play the game. So you can see on a game like this, that's really easy to play for the, for the hardware, there's no problems, there's no lags, there's no slowdowns. It doesn't need anything higher than what I've given it. So once you're done with the application, you can go ahead and exit out of it and give it a few seconds and you'll see that it'll disable the per app mode and your settings will go back to the normal system default. So there you go, per app mode disabled. So with the mode off, you can see that the CPU frequency is quite a bit higher than with it on. And in a game like Flappy Birds that really doesn't need that extra power, you just end up wasting battery life. So in situations like this, the per app mode is gonna save you quite a bit of battery life. You can also choose to make performance profiles for applications that need it. You can see one right here. I've changed the minimum CPU frequency to 2.26 gigahertz, change the governor to performance, I've changed the hot plug load threshold to zero so it locks in all the cores, and I've changed the CPU threshold to 85, and I've put that on Geekbench. So if we go ahead and open Geekbench right now, give it a second, you'll notice that once the per app modes apply, you'll see that it locks in at 2.3 gigahertz, all the cores are online, and it's gonna stay like that. So you're gonna get a better score than if you were just, just leave it as it was before. And you know, you don't have to be quite as dramatic as that, but you can have it quad core for certain games if you want it to be, make them perform better. So there you go guys, that's the per app modes from Franco. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out.